we've got a little friend out there today. Just a nice little reminder that we're not alone in this world right now. It's our neighbor's 25th birthday today. Go figure. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you have no idea who I am, first of all, welcome. My name is Riley and I'm currently living on a cruise ship, an empty cruise ship, in the middle of Asia somewhere. And guys, we actually just got out of our 14 day quarantine a couple days ago and our social distancing period has begun. So guys, in celebration of us getting out of quarantine and actually finally being allowed out of our rooms and back onto the ship, I've decided to give you all a super cool tour of all the guest areas on board and how different the ship is right now with, you know, the way things are and everything being shut down. We have to wear these masks everywhere we go outside of the cabin as part of our social distancing. Okay, here we are, deck 15 forward. This is where the spa would normally be. It is closed, sad face. And here we are at deck 16 forward. This is where the gym is and it is closed. So sad. Deck 14 forward, solarium also closed. All right, we finally got somewhere that's open now up here at the indoor pool. You'll notice all of the deck chairs have been spaced two meters apart. All the hot tubs are empty. Everybody is spaced out and socially distancing. All right, moving on to the outdoor pool. The kids pool is totally covered up in netting and drained out, as well as the giant outdoor pool, completely drained, covered in a net. And you can see all the deck chairs are spaced out and completely separated so that we can actually socially distance. It's so hard to communicate how weird everything feels with everything emptied out like this and everything set up completely differently from how it would be if we had guests on board. You know, we've got all this tape on the ground that shows us exactly how far apart we have to stand from each other when we're walking and standing still. And you know, the smoking area has these little triangles on the floor. The noodle shop up here on deck 14 is also closed. And they've even got a little scarecrow to scare us away if we're looking for noodles or anything right now. <laughs> Most of the chairs here on the pool deck have just been completely removed. So we're here at the main central elevator shaft of Quantum. We've got a nice view down through these glass panels all the way down to deck five. They've actually shut down half of the elevator shaft because we're just, we don't have enough people to justify using it right now. So only this half of the elevators are being used and it is eerily quiet. There is nobody here as usual. Just a couple elevators moving up and down and yeah, on to the next place. The running track is pretty much one of our only sources of exercise right now with the crew gym closed. So it is nice that they've kept that open and actually we don't even have to wear masks here because they would get super sweaty and gross anyway. It's not perfect, but it is a form of exercise and we're getting some good cardio in that way. Here's where they're keeping most of the deck chairs on this side of the ship right now. You can see they're all just stacked up by the hundreds. Moving on to the back of the ship, the Flow Rider is completely bone dry and it has been for, you know, more than two months now. There's been nobody on it. So that kind of sucks, but you know, you get a nice view of the ocean. And you know, same situation with the skydiving wind tunnel. Completely empty. All the sports equipment has been shut down for months really now. Rock climbing wall and sad bear. Deck chairs. And here we come to the indoor gymnasium, the Cplex. Again, totally empty. All the lights are shut down. The screen down there would normally be on and showing us the Cplex logo would be fun and full and bustling and late night parties, roller skating, basketball, soccer, volleyball, all that jazz and it's all shut down. No hot dogs.
Just popping into a crew elevator really quick to run downstairs and show you the inside of the ship. If you want to see a full crew tour of you know all the crew areas of the ship, I'll probably be making one of those videos here soon. But yeah, just let me know in the comments if you want a tour of all the crew areas while this is going on too. That would mean a lot to me. And get subscribed because I'll probably make that video. Walking in this room again, it makes me realize how much I miss my job. This is the room where I used to work before my contract got ended. I run all the lights up there on the ceiling and make it make sure everything's working and I run the lights for the shows and stuff. I mean, guys, this room has it all. It's got a bar over there in the corner. It's got amazing production shows at night with like aerialists and flyers and projectors and all sorts of crazy technological amazingness. I love this room so much and it, it just kills me to see it shut down right now because 270 is just such a great part of the ship. Here's the library. All the bookshelves are sealed up and covered in plastic. This is where it really starts to get weird and feel like you're in a pandemic movie or something. Here's Cafe 270. This is probably one of the best places on the ship to get breakfast if you don't want to go to the Windjammer. But yeah, completely closed down, no food, no silverware, nothing. It's starting to get pretty dark here inside of the ship because they've shut off all of the lights inside basically to save electricity. But behind me, you'll see Vintage's Wine Bar, the most happening place on the ship to grab yourself a fancy bottle of wine or a nice glass to wind down your day. And then right outside of Vintage's Wine Bar, we'll see the Via. This is a beautiful little sheltered area inside the ship, very classy. There's an Italian restaurant right over here on this side. That's Jamie's Italian which is actually sponsored and created by the incredible British chef, Jamie Oliver. Moving on to the Royal Esplanade. Now we're down here on the bottom side of the elevator shaft. Everything is shut down. This is like the center of the inside of the ship, if that makes sense. There's shops and restaurants and all sorts of stuff. There's this really cool LED sculpture here that normally has all sorts of cool like art patterns and stuff on it obviously shut down right now but yeah your shore excursions over here it's really rough guys this is this is completely unprecedented you know you never see something like this even when we put the ship in a dry dock just to you know do maintenance and stuff on it we do that once every five years and this is nothing like that it just feels like a ghost town so here's the wonderland restaurant this is like an experimental it's super dark in here sorry but this is like an experimental, super tasty cuisine restaurant where they do all sorts of cool experimental foods and stuff. And it's a really fun dining experience if you ever come back on a quantum class. The Bionic Bar is right over there across from us right now. That's where the robot bartenders are that make your drinks and stuff. Popping over to the other side of the Esplanade, this is probably one of my favorite restaurants on the ship. This is Izumi. This is a sushi bar. Right now they've got it all covered up in plastic wrap and all the tables and chairs are empty and stacked up over there. We've got another area closed sign right here. We can't go over to see the bionic bar and the robots anymore. Moving on. Well, I was gonna go down these stairs, but they've got caution tape on them, so I guess I can't go that way. So immediately behind me is Sorrento's Pizza. Normally this is where you'd be able to come and get yourself a free slice of pizza. We've also got the Harp and Horn Pub behind me here. You can get bar bites, they've got sports on the TV sometimes. Behind me here is La Patisserie. Normally this is a cafe with coffee and tea and you know morning beverages and snacks. Still closed. Boleros, Latin lounge and cool hangout bar spot. Closed, guest services is closed right now, guys. Sorry, you'll have to come back another time and find your last luggage. Giant dining halls at the back of the ship, all closed and locked down. No tasty food for you or me, it's very sad. 
Moving on to the casino. Everything is shut down and covered in plastic wrap right now. Closed, closed, closed. This is the music hall. This is where, you know, you get live bands and stuff at night, dance parties, DJs, all that jazz. Totally closed, totally shut down. Bar is empty, no liquor, no alcohol. Very sad. And here we are at the schooner bar. Completely closed down. The piano is quiet and sad and empty. All the TVs are shut down. Chops Grill, which is the amazing, fantastic steakhouse here on board, completely shut down. No alcohol at the bar whatsoever. This is where normally all the shops and stuff would be. Unfortunately, only half of the Michael Kors sign is lit up, so we just have El Kors. And last but not least, welcome to the Royal Theater, the largest entertainment venue on the ship. This is actually where I worked two contracts ago. I actually made a video in this room over a year ago. I'll actually link that video right around here somewhere. And it's really frustrating seeing it all shut down right now. It, it, I miss doing my job. I miss, I miss the buzz of electricity and energy and activity that comes with guests being on the ship. I miss the excitement. I miss the shows and the lights and all of the technology. And it's just, it's really sad, the situation that we're in right now. And you know, guys, there's nothing we can really do about it. I've, I've come to accept the fact that we are going to be in this situation for a long time. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that quick little tour around the ship. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to show you guys what it's like here on board right now and maybe take you for a little walk down memory lane and help you guys relive the good old days when we used to be able to get on cruise ships without having to worry about a global pandemic. And don't forget, I'm gonna be making a video probably pretty soon of a tour of all the crew areas on the ship during this pandemic as well. So get subscribed. Don't forget to tune in for that coming up probably in a week or two. I love you all guys. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.